Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Hannah and today I thought I would just do a little vlog. I know I haven't posted in a while and I'm so sorry. I just want to also say, because I haven't said this yet, but thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. I freaked out. I cried. It has just been always a dream of mine to start a YouTube channel and I've always been so nervous and scared and just seeing your love and your support through following me and through subscribing and through commenting just it there's no other feeling like it I'm just so blessed and just love you guys so much so just thank you and I just wanted to make sure I thanked you for supporting me on my channel and loving my videos it means everything but today i am just gonna do a simple day in my life vlog i am currently downtown because i have to shoot some content and i'm meeting my mom here so i'm just waiting for her to get here but i just always forget how cute downtown is and i'm meeting her at this bakery that we go to a lot if you live in baltimore Patango is such a cute bakery. They have such good sandwiches and coffee. So we're just gonna shoot around here. I'm actually right in front of the water and it's stunning, just like my view right now. It's so beautiful. But I just wanted to, you know, say hi, say welcome back. I wanted to thank you guys, start this video, start this vlog. And I don't know what the rest of the day brings, but I just wanted to bring you guys along. just left downtown and I finished shooting content. I think it went really well. I'm really happy with the videos that I shot and now I am in the parking garage of the mall because since I'm already out and about and don't really have too much to do today other than like finalize those videos, I thought I would go into Madewell and try on their jeans because I've been seeing so many people say that their one pair of jeans are very similar to the Kate Daniela jeans but obviously for a much affordable price and I think they'll have a really good Black Friday day sale as well so I want to try them on for me and also for you guys if you guys been like seeing that as well and been wondering how they fit and everything and I also just feel like Madewell has some really great stuff right now so i want to go in there i also kind of want to go into old navy and check out that cardigan that has been going that's been really popular recently that's just simple and plain but for a really good price kind of just a staple so i want to go in there as well maybe check out j crew i don't know i just thought we would do a little bit of mall browsing around and trying on some clothes and seeing what we like i'm currently eating um uh part of a protein ball that my mom made last night it's the sammy clark recipe i love these so much i'll link the recipe down below so good but they just get in your teeth so i need to eat them here i need to eat them here and then check if i have any seeds like the chia seeds get in your teeth so bad so I really hope these jeans fit as well as people are saying they do, but let's see. Hey guys, I quickly just wanted to insert this here when talking about the clothes that I tried on at Madewell. I'm going to uh, put the videos of me trying it on that I took with this vlog. I am filming this a few days after filming the vlog because when I went to go and edit it, I just realized my clips for the try on portion was just shorter than what I really wanted to say about the denim I didn't realize I would have a lot to say so I thought I would just insert this video here and share my thoughts while showing you guys 
what I tried on and how I like it and how it looked on me next to me talking about it. So the first thing I tried on was this gray turtleneck sweater. I am really into turtlenecks. As you can see, I have a turtleneck on now. And I thought I was going to love this. The only thing that was the downside of this was the sleeve of it. I didn't like how it got tighter far up my arm. Like it kind of was like a normal sleeve length and then it stopped and got really tight. You can see that here. I just didn't like that. I didn't think it was it's not that it wasn't flattering, I just don't like that style, I guess. But I did love how the turtleneck laid. It didn't feel like it was choking me. I also thought it was the perfect length. It was really nice tucked into jeans. It didn't have too much fabric or wasn't long. That it like felt like it was unflattering or oversized when you tucked it into jeans. I have it tucked in now and I thought it laid really nicely. The only downside and the negative to the sweater was the sleeves and how it just got really tight so far up my arm but if you like that style I highly recommend checking this out because I thought it was a really cute sweater I love the color I love the heather gray color it's just the arms really I just wasn't about it I also have the cream denim jeans on in this video but I'm gonna show them more here and the jeans were a struggle I am so happy that I went in and tried them on because what I will say is you have to unless you don't mind ordering a bunch of different sizes and returning I highly recommend going in store if you have one near you and trying them on in store because I was different sizes in like almost every wash like it was kind of insane I I've never had this before in the same style but different washes be such a drastic different in sizing for me so here are the cream ones and these you can't really tell in this video per se but they had just too much fabric around the zipper part and it just was like I could just pull it out like especially if it stresses stretches a little bit it would just be so big on me so even though I love the color it just didn't fit as how I wanted them to it didn't I just didn't like them on me I didn't like these on me at all and I think it was because it was a little big and there was just too much fabric sorry the lighting got really really dark but I do love the color and they had potential so then I tried the black pair of jeans on and I also tried on this turtleneck because again really into turtlenecks at the minute and this turtleneck I loved I loved the how it wasn't too thick it was like the perfect thickness of a sweater I don't really like when turtlenecks are really thick obviously I don't want them to be so thin they're see-through but this was a really good medium thickness and I thought it really laid really nicely it tucked into jeans perfectly it was really flattering and it was just a really great simple plain turtleneck sweater I only tried on the black color so I can't really say if the other colors are good or not like see-through or whatnot but the black was such a good statement piece like just a staple that you're gonna have in your wardrobe and I really really loved this now the black jeans I think I tried them on first in a 25 and those 25s I don't know what size I have on here I only filmed like me trying on one uh, size of each color I tried on so many pairs of jeans that I wasn't gonna film every single pair of jeans because I just would forget the sizing so these I don't know if they're 25 or 24 but the 24 fit me perfectly whereas the cream the 24 were still too big so I don't know if the cream had more stretch it kind of felt like a more stretchy material than the black I know different washes kind of stretch differently and do fit differently with the whole dyeing process so the 24s in the black denim fit me great and I really really love them I actually am thinking about these because I liked how they were like a true black I have my Levi's that I wear all the time and they're more of a washed black and I really liked how these were just like your true black jeans that you can really dress up or down Whereas my wash black, I really feel like they're more of a dress down kind of jean. You really can't dress them up because of the denim color. So 
I was a 24 in these, regular, and they fit great. Now, with the darker denim. First, I tried on these tops. So, I'm really interested right now in these thin, long sleeve tops that you can, like, layer. I really like that look. It didn't really go well. My vision didn't really pan out how I wanted it to when I tried these on. But you kind of get the idea of what I was going for. The tops on itself, I just feel like are too see-through. So, they just were a miss but I was really hoping the kind of layering would look really good because of how thin they were but it just didn't work out now denim wise these I forget what size these are I think these maybe I forget what the darker denim color size wise is but I think either 24 worked the 25s for all color range were too big so I, the 24 might have worked or what I'm going to show you next is I tried so they have the 90s straight style in a curvy as well and I started to try the curvy style on and those fit me so much better not in the black denim the black denim the curvy didn't fit me well this is what I mean by you have to go in and try them on and why I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys why while I show me trying them on rather than me doing a voiceover because I just had way too much to say. So the curvy and the black didn't fit me. The cur they didn't have the cream and the curvy which I was bummed about because I feel like that would fit me a lot better than the non-curvy. But I tried on the light wash in a curvy 23 which I have never been a 23 and I was like these are not going to fit me but she was like just try them on. I think they might work because they are the curvy style. So I tried them on and they fit me perfectly. I'm obsessed with these jeans. They looked so good. They fit me exactly how I wanted to. I liked how they were tight on my waist but still loose on my thigh. I think that's so hard to find. And although with the Daniela Kate jeans, because obviously these people have been saying are really similar to those, obviously the quality of the Daniela Kate jeans are unbeatable. They're so good. But these are a really good alternative, especially in price point. If you don't want to splurge on such a high price point pair of jeans, these are your second best to the Daniela jeans, I think, personally. I love the fit. They fit really good. So uh, these were my favorite by far. The 23 Curvy in the light wash. I want to try on the 23 Curvy in the darker denim wash, but they didn't have that in store. So, all in all, I was a 23 Kirby in the light wash. I was a 24 regular in the black. The cream just didn't work out for me at all. I was, it was too big in the 24. The 23, I couldn't even buckle up. Like, it only came, like, not even, like, to my belly button. So, those didn't, that colorway didn't work for me. The darker denim, I kind of forget. I think for the darker denim, I would either be a 24 regular or maybe a 23 curvy. So all in all, my point here is to go try them on because it's kind of a mess. But when you find the right size, they're really good. And I love them so much. I think they're really a nice shape. They fit your butt really good. They fit your waist really good. And they're loose on the thigh. So love them, but it was a struggle finding what size for each wash fit me best. And I spent way longer than I thought I was going to in the dressing room at Bainwell. But anyway, back to the vlog. Hey guys, I am back in the car from the mall. I am so happy that I went to try on those jeans because the fit of every single wash is so different. I'm now, I stopped by Sweet Green because it's really close to the mall because I was really feeling like a good salad and I have to go into Trader Joe's because I want to get stuff for dinner but I needed to eat because number one I was starving and the only thing I ate all day was half of that protein ball before I went into the mall and you never want to go grocery sorry my camera ran out of storage so I had to delete footage but what I was saying is you never want to go into the grocery store on an empty stomach as we all probably know you end up buying way more than you go in for and i just want to get stuff for dinner tonight i don't want to i don't really need anything else 
and I don't really know what I'm doing the rest of the week so I don't want to like overbuy and not end up eating it I think I really want to make a uh, pesto salmon with veggies and potatoes I've been really into air frying potatoes recently it's just so good so I think I'm gonna do that but the mom was good I went into J crew after Madewell also at Madewell I didn't film this because it was a bag but they had the most beautiful bag ever I took a photo of it so I'll insert it here but it looked or reminded me a lot of the Bottega kind of style and it was in this beautiful like burgundy brown I couldn't really figure out what the color was but I think it's like a burgundy but it's a dark burgundy that it almost looks like a little chocolate brown as well but I just loved it I thought it was stunning like I thought it looked so pretty on it was so pretty so I'm definitely going to be looking at that at Black Friday or on Black Friday and then I went into Jake room and they had this really pretty claw clip in this burgundy color obviously I'm really loving the color burgundy but I thought this color was so stunning and I loved how simple the clip was so that was another thing I found that I didn't film but I took photos of it so I could show you guys but yeah love those two things the bag was gorgeous also I tried on I didn't have a photo but I tried on a pair of ballet flats in Madewell they're the velvet green if you've seen them or have seen them on the website and I tried them on on the six and a half and they just run really wide so if you struggle with finding shoes that are too narrow and you have more of a wider foot those would be really good if you've been looking for ballet flats because they were just a little too wide on my feet and they felt big like my foot like slipped out of them but they were really really cute so yeah that was my mall little trip and experience my mall I don't know when or if we ever had one maybe I'm just thinking of Gap but we don't have an Old Navy so I didn't get to try on those sweaters that I've been really wanting to try on because we don't have an Old Navy in my mall which I swore we did so I don't know if it closed or maybe I'm totally wrong and we never had an Old Navy but there's an Old Navy somewhere close here so I think I'm just gonna go to that one but I'm not going to go today. I'm going to go probably another day just because it's already kind of late. And I want to make sure I work out and make dinner and just kind of chill. And then I also have to edit those videos that I filmed this morning because I have to send them to the brand tomorrow. So I'm just not going to have enough time to go to Old Navy. But I'm going to finish eating and then head into Trader Joe's. Just got home and I just wanted to quickly show what I got at Trader Joe's. If you were wondering, I love Trader Joe's little hauls. I got salmon because I think I'm going to make salmon tonight. I've been really craving it. And last time I put the Trader Joe's, I put the Trader Joe's pesto on top of the salmon and I mixed lemon juice and lemon zest with the pesto and it was so good so i think i'm gonna do that again tonight for dinner and then i got shaved brussels sprouts because i thought i would do like yellow onion shaved brussels sprouts and a broccoli mix with the uh, salmon i thought that would be really good and then as like a carb i thought we could do roasted potatoes so that's kind of dinner and then I also wanted to pick up some more creamer this is the best creamer ever I'm obsessed with it it makes any coffee taste 10 times better I had to pick up some soap I really like this one it's the lavender chamomile soap from Trader Joe's and then I picked up two mangoes because we might make tacos tomorrow and I make a uh, mango salsa so I just wanted to pick those up really quickly and that's all I got I'm so bummed because I just bought Trader Joe's bags 
feel like this is crooked, but you guys are sitting on a little vase, so that's probably why it's crooked. But anyway, I just bought Trader Joe's bags because everywhere it stopped selling their bags. And also, I already have them, so I kind of like that people completely stopped because now it makes me more like inclined to bring them because I always forget sometimes. But since I was out and about since this t like this morning, I left, I totally forgot. So I had to get a bag, unfortunately. But whatever happens. So yeah, that's dinner. And now I'm just gonna quickly edit and figure out everything for the videos that I shot this morning and probably work out and then start making dinner. I think that's the plan. I was just scrolling on Instagram and I had to turn on my camera to tell you guys, but Lucia Zola, and I'm totally butchering that name, I feel so bad. I need to ask my cousin because I think she actually knows the person that owns it and I need to know how to actually pronounce the name, but they just, launched their part one of their holiday and it is so good and i just need to show you guys this one dress if you are if you just got engaged and you're going to be you're planning like your outfits or whatever for your different like bridal events you need this dress in your life i'm not kidding i wish i was going to be a bride because this is absolutely stunning please excuse all of my tabs it is kind of embarrassing but look at that back. And then the lace detailing, I can show you it from the front. It's in black and white, which kind of sucks, but I know that you can email them for more photos. But just that detail right here with the lace. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely beautiful. Like, you guys need this. I just want to buy it and save it. It's that beautiful. And it's such a good price. It's $180. Like for your rehearsal dinner or something, I just feel like that would be so pretty. And then I saw something else that reminds me a lot of the dress that I have in black with the lace of oh, this dress. I feel like this is very similar to a black dress that I actually got from them. And it has black with some lace cut out and I just think this is absolutely beautiful as well. And it's a good price, it's 180. So you really can't beat it. It's absolutely stunning. It would be such a pretty like wedding guest dress or I don't know, a special occasion or something like that. I just absolutely love it. So I just had to let you guys know because that would be so rude of me if I didn't inform you guys that they just launched their first they're part one. Highly recommend uh, following them on Instagram so you know when they put new stuff on their website because they will let you guys know or they let you know through Instagram first. And they have some good holiday stuff. And that white dress, that ivory dress, if you are going to be a bride and you buy it, please send me a photo of you in it because I will be living through you wearing it because I just, it's so stunning. So yeah, definitely go check them out because they just posted and they have some really cute holiday stuff. I personally love gifting vintage pieces for Christmas gifts. I also am almost finished my gift guides. I have been spending all week on my gift guides and I'm actually really, really proud of them. I think they are the best gift guides that I have made thus far. So I will be posting them at the end of this week, hopefully. So check or look out for that. I'm hoping this video might, I'm hoping to get this video up tomorrow or Friday, so hopefully I'll be done the gift guides and I'll leave them in the description box below. Oh my God, my. Piper, are you okay? Piper. My dog just made the weirdest noise ever. Okay, well, anyway. If they're up, I'll put them in the description box below. But I think they're really good. So, just had to let you guys know. I also will link the this uh, Lucia Zola's holiday, uh, the website down below too, so you can easily.
go to it. 